at this uh, VIDID uh, conference, uh, there is quite a lot of discussion on tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is still a major public health uh, problem globally in Europe and of course also in the richest part of Europe that are the EU uh, countries. Overall, uh, with more than 9 million cases every year and almost 2 million deaths, tuberculosis is the largest killing disease uh, and keeping into account that uh, uh, the, all the deaths for HIV AIDS die because of, of tuberculosis. Um, although uh, major efforts have been uh, implemented by the World Health Organization to control the disease, a step ahead has been conducted to conceptualize the possibility to eliminate tuberculosis from low TB incidence countries, the richer part of the world, by the year 2050, with a document that has been released uh, last year <coughs> by the World Health Organization. The idea is to reduce the uh, incidence of tuberculosis to less than one case per million, not uh, eradicating it, so uh, having a complete disappearance of the disease, but simply reducing it to such a low level that uh, this will not appear anymore as a public health problem. Um, the problem here, if you want to reach elimination, is to ensure uh, that the present decline in incidence trends, that is at the moment at the level of 2% per year, decreases at the level of 10 to 20% a year. Otherwise, we will never reach this uh, very low level that will define tuberculosis elimination. In practice, this means that in all countries, clinicians should collaborate with public health um, staff to ensure rapid diagnosis and effective treatment of all cases, in particular those who are infectious, who are able to transmit the bacilli as the disease is transmitted, like influenza and others, through um, droplet nuclei, so it's an airborne disease.